Alright guys, I wanted to make a little video here. Uh, I'm actually looking for some help um, on an import process, and I'll show you what I'm doing here. I want to take an object from 3D Simed, and this is the grandstand at Daytona for example. You can see once it loads in Simed that it loads the entire mesh. Um, there's a mesh for testing, race weekend, qualifying, different things like that those are all loaded in one single file and you can see those faces showing through um, I've been through every many of this is um, 1.17 B by the way that's an older version um, I've been through all the menus I can't figure out how to only display one of those state switches so if I wanted to display only testing I don't know how to do that in here uh, that's where the first problem I'm running into is. Uh, if I go to save as 3DS, which I already have, uh, saved it as a 3DS, I go over to 3DS Max and I import that file. It looks fine here, but it's actually uh, all of those meshes combined into one. And <clears throat> for example, if I pull up the material editor, I get to material picker and I pick from that object. You can see here that everything is named correctly under the sub object sub material names. Red, blue, these are the texture names here. But if I go to any one of these, let's say top building go to the diffuse under bitmap where it should have the texture is a bunch of what looks like Chinese characters now I can go, I think that was top building, I can go here display that and it displays but there are actually two sets of faces there If I convert this to editable poly polygons, hopefully you can see that over here on the right hand side it's switching between two polygons there, 925 and 304. To manually do all that on an object this big is, I mean, you're better off just making it from scratch. Um, you can see there how it's kind of transparent. It's showing that there's two polygons there, 913 and 238. There are two meshes here on top of each other, but I don't know how to separate those meshes. Um, I've tried selection by elements. Doesn't seem to make any difference. Um, I've tried welding the vertices together. You can see there are a bunch of unwelded verts here. There are 3,780 Click well and it goes down to 838. Um, really doesn't make any difference. That doesn't really give a good result there, so obviously that's not right. Uh, if you have any ideas, uh, suggestions, other ways that you're doing this, maybe that I'm not aware of, definitely let me know in the comments. Um, this video should actually help you get uh, some basic objects into 3ds Max and get them mapped. Uh, you just pull up the material editor, click on that pick from object. You can also do it by actually selecting the polygon, click pick from object and select that polygon and it'll bring you right to that material. However you can still see it's in what looks like Chinese characters. So, uh, thanks for watching.